Hi everyone in the world, Kung Kam Sang, this is Dolma. Back to this video after a long time. And here I'm going to show you the oldest monastery in Tibet, the first Buddhist monastery which is built in the 8th century, the Samya Monastery. In the 8th century, our Thimba region, 38 king to Sundis and invited the great master Padma Sambhava and great Chantrashita from India to Tibet to be introduced Indian Buddhism and then build this monastery for exempt seven monks. Now there are 190 monks are studying in this monastery and the monastery here belongs for Nyingmapa order which is the oldest order in the Tibetan Buddhism. Some years overall design was symbolic mandala representation of the universe. The construction here is our traditional architectures and it is for three floors. The first floor is Tibetan style. In the center we can see a stone made Buddha Shakyamuni and the eight Buddha Sattva. Inside this temple we can go around with the full of darkness and the wall is full of paintings of Buddhas. It is also the main assembly hall for the monastery. Next to the assembly hall there is a small temple with the image of thousand arms, thousand eyes and eleven head manifestation of Compassion Buddha. The way up to the second and third floor we can see the ceilings and the walls are full of paintings and here is the four garden kings. All these paintings are made by mineral stones. The step inside these monasteries are original rocks from the Himalaya ranges. Floors and the roof are made by mud mixed with the small pieces of the rocks from mountain. The most important is most of the Tibetan doors and windows are very small. The view from the second floor is so beautiful and colorful. There we can see the mountains, cloud and blue skies and the monks. The center of the second floor is the great master Padmasambhava and the eight Buddhasawa around him. Padmasambhava, he came by the river Brahmaputra from India to Tibet with a battle with demons and introduced Buddhism to them. An Indian style third floor in the center is past, present, future Buddha statues and it was surrounded by eight Buddha Sattva. And here are the local people they bring the yak butter to offering in the lamb. The Tibetan people offer a pure yak butter in every monastery with chanting mantras to be getting more peace and wish all the living beings release from suffer. Precious stone made Yundung In the paintings of the 5th Dalai Lama after he reunited the Tibet in the 15th century. And the monastery is surrounded by monks living cult. There are 108 chapels in these monasteries and in Tibet, 108 
is an auspicious number. There was a popular story about White Hand. Long time ago, the monastery got lots of damage by the fire, and one time in the midnight, the monastery is going to be seriously damaged by the fire. And the main protector of this monastery, he turned in the White Hand, and he wake up all the monks to protect the monastery from the fire. So since from that time till now. All the people, we especially go to this painting and meet this hand to be thankful to protect the monastery. Here is the cemetery monument beside the main door in Tibetan. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I'm very happy to share more Tibet for you.